Hey guys, it's Micah, Outdoor Living Guy, coming to you from a beautiful job site today and I wanted to show you something that's really cool and I think you should strongly think about it when you're getting your outdoor space and that is a seat wall. So seat walls are simple, they're seat walls, but they actually do add a lot to an outdoor space, especially adding another destination. Here we have a seat wall that is framing the fire pit and I like this because it's a, it's a stop point for your eye, especially from your indoors. It's going to actually stop your eye and then make a smooth transition from the outdoor space to the landscape. So seat walls are really nice because they actually anchor a space. So if you can imagine here, we have this L-shaped seat wall, obviously behind the fire pit. So basically what that does is it structures, it sets structure into the landscape and creates a nice destination. So this one had a very uh, steep area, basically on the back side of the seat wall. So seat walls come in different shapes and sizes. Here we have an L-shape with a backrest, and it has, actually has a little table in it. But oftentimes all you need with a seat wall is just a bench. That's really all a seat wall is. Sometimes it's as simple as two rocks with even a board that bridges the two rocks. So it's lots of different shapes, lots of different sizes, lots of different um, architectural elements that will draw your eye in different ways and to blend into the landscape in different ways. Now I want to talk to you a little bit about the backrest. I strongly feel like it's a good thing. The downside is when you put your back on there, of course you're going to have the pillows and you, you, know, you want it to be comfortable. Some people are doing the backrest and they'll actually stone it. You can see the stone there and then it transitions into more of a stucco surface. That's a lot more comfortable to your back if you don't have a pillow on there. So think about that um, as you're doing it. I also prefer a, a backrest to have an angle to it. And that's something that I wouldn't have realized until we built a few that were more uh, straight up. This just has a slight curve in it and that little bit of curve is gonna help when you're, it's a lot more comfortable when you're sitting on it. So with seat walls, it's very common to have a seat wall around a fire pit. But it's also very common to have them around a fireplace. In fact, flanking a fireplace. Here's another seat wall. We talked a little bit about some in another project, but here we go with another seat wall with the backrest. This one has three different built-in table stands. So it's a nice feature. Again, seat walls anchor a space. So here at the end, we have the garden shed in the back and it stops their eye before it gets to the, obviously the shed. So again, a nice anchor here. You can imagine a fire pit or even a table here. And all of a sudden you've created a nice destination for your outdoor living space. I hope you enjoyed this little piece on seat walls. I know they seem like a simple thing, but they actually do, are important to think about. Always, as I always wanna to say to you, just don't go ahead and put a seat wall or anything in without really thinking about it. Please take advantage of what we can offer. Just call us. I'll even walk you through things over the phone. And of course, I'd love to come see you. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.